What's poppin' homies? It's your favorite homegirl gossip girl. And today we are going to talk about what happened in court um, with Alan Jackson and Judge Beverly. Okay, let's go ahead and get into it. So, there was an exchange between Jackson and Beverly, Judge Beverly, because of the verdict slip. The verdict slip didn't have an option to say not guilty. And he didn't like the wording of it at all. So he spoke his opinion. All right. So let me go ahead and get into that. While Wednesday was dedicated to the jury's deliberations, Judge Beverly hosted sessions in which she ruled on jurors' questions and take arguments from attorneys. Now, Karen Reed is charged with second degree murder, manslaughter, while operating a motor vehicle under the influence and leaving the scene of an accident resulting in death. The second of the indicted charges features two lesser included charge options in voluntary manslaughter and motor vehicle homicide. Now, Karen Reed can be convicted of or found not guilty of each one. Now, early in the day at around 10.02 a.m., Judge Beverly heard an argument from defense attorney Alan Jackson regarding the wording on that second charge and its subordinate list of offenses. Now, Jackson complained that the verdict slip allowed, doesn't allow jurors to check a box marked not guilty for the two subordinate charges. So Judge Beverly said that, that, you know, this is the way it is, that the way the verdict forms are in Massachusetts, and that's the, this is how it is, you know. This is how we do it here, and that's it, basically. So apparently, that's how it's going to be because of the court's ruling. That is not as it should be, and it's over, strong, it's over our strong objection, Jackson said. So he did give his opinion and he presented her, no, listen, this should not be this way. I understand you're saying this is like, but this is not, it shouldn't be this way. And I agree with him. It should be clear. It should have a line box on it, not guilty. If the wording should be, uh, the wording on the verdict slip should be understandable. Okay. It shouldn't be misleading. You know, the wording should be understandable because that's how people could slip up. You get what I'm saying? So I agree with him. The not guilty box should have been on there. Okay. And correct wording on that verdict slip. So she replied, you know, okay, I disagree with you. So a little before noon, Judge Beverly agreed to make the changes, but ruled that the original form was not an error. Jurors are first to consider the primary offices, offenses, and if they find the prosecution failed to prove all its elements, then they are to consider the two lesser offenses in descending order. She said she will also make the not guilty line on that primary account to say not guilty of offenses charged or any included lesser offenses instead of how it was originally written as not guilty of offense charge. So she agreed to make some some changes, you know, and I'm so glad that he spoke up and he said something because if he didn't say anything, she would have left the verdict slip as is. And we don't know what the jurors would have um, picked or how they would have voted. But Karen Reed has gained a lot of attention through this whole trial thing. Um, she has a lot of support. Outside the courthouse, she has a lot of support. People holding up signs. You know, she's innocent. All of that. Um, online, she has a lot of support. On Facebook, people have made support groups for her and everything. Now, you have those people out there who doesn't like her and think that she's guilty. All right. But there's a lot of people out there that think she's innocent and they love her. Okay. They're saying that she's very strong for going through this. And I'm telling you something, Karen Reed, honey, her poker face is, <laughs> is on and popping. Okay, she has a poker face. So, and, she, and if it is bothering her, if this trial is bothering her, she's not showing it. She's not showing it. But anyway, so I'm not sure how many of you guys are following, but the ones who are following, let me know in the comment section. How did you feel about the exchange between... 
Alan Jackson and Judge Beverly. And do you think that Karen Reed is innocent? What are your thoughts overall? And I will talk to you guys later. Have a good one.